Woo! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the fourth official episode of The Road to Westerns. I still love you. So since I haven't been recording much in the past couple weeks, I thought I'd come out here and give you guys just this quick little update about what has been going on. For the past two months, training has been phenomenal. Working with Aldrin as a coach because he knows so much more about powerlifting programming than I do, coupled with the amount of sleep and relaxation that I've been getting during the summer holiday, Oh my god, it is just beautiful. Every single time we cop into the gym, I'm just so motivated to hit the training sessions. I'm never overtrained, always de-stressed, and always ready to hit a PR, whether it be a rep PR or a RPE PR or just a top single, every single training session, and mm, the summer has been beautiful. However, over the past couple of weeks, we've fallen into quite a few setbacks. Oh, so, today is August 27th, it is Tuesday of 2019, and not only are we a week and a half out from starting the first couple days of my last year of high school, grade 12, but we are also a week and a half out from my fourth official powerlifting competition, also known as the Western Canadian Championships. So that is going to be an exciting time, that is basically what this whole series is about. So despite the fact that training has been so phenomenal over the past couple months, the last two weeks, absolutely awful. So if you guys saw from my last video, you guys know that I went up to Whistler two weeks ago to hang out with the boys, go on some hikes and just hang around. Uh, a little bit of a complication, when we were going up that mountain, not only did I get hundreds of mosquito bites that my immune system was just totally not ready for, and apparently I got some disease from it, but I also got some terrible food poisoning, so my past couple of weeks were spent in the hospital doing a lot of lab tests, figuring out if I got malaria or whatever. Luckily, I was healed up, super happy. That took about a week, week and a half off from the gym. Cold sweats, fever, all the terrible symptoms. And then, right when I'm about to go straight back, hop back into the workout routine, I get struck down by the most embarrassingly stupid injury possible I fell down the stairs like like what okay I'm sorry but sometimes I just feel like I'm 75 year old senile old man with just broken bones everywhere because that is the saddest injury you can possibly get not even cool enough to tell people but luckily I'm blessed enough to have been going to physio every single day since that happened which was last Friday and we are slowly recovering I injured, I did injure one of the bones in my spine, it was like the bone right above the tailbone, I got a little bit of a bone bruise, no fracture luckily, and I think we are almost fully healed up from that. So my plan for today is to take you guys through my first training session back, almost fully recovered. We're going to be doing squat, bench, and deadlift just to prep for this competition because oh my god, training was so good before and then the injury and the sickness just messed up everything. And I'd also like to give you guys my plans of how we are mentally going to go into this competition. Alright, so since you guys now know that we are about this close out from the meet, and the last two weeks have been a major setback, we're going to talk about right now what we're going to do, how we're going to tackle the next week and a half in prep for the meet. So first off, we're going to talk about nutrition, 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 and what I'm going to do to lose this last remaining little bit of weight. So we started the prep off at around 180 pounds, and we've cut down to around 168 right now, just purely through dropping calories, and the sickness did play a huge role. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ever thinking about getting super shredded super fast, go get malaria or something, it helps a lot. But all jokes aside, this prep has been going a lot better in terms of the diet than last time we started. You guys saw those videos, that was awful, that was brutal. If you haven't seen that last video, go check it out because those are probably the best videos that I've ever made. Anyways, we are going to have to do another water cut again. Definitely not to the extremes of the last one, 
But the thing with this competition is if you don't make weight, you can't just move up to the next weight class. You are cut, you are gone. You've spent $2,000 on crappy plane tickets and hotel that you were never gonna get back and you suck. So I'm really gonna have to make this weight no matter what, no matter how weak I get from it. I've already lost a little bit of strength gains from this sickness and just the injury and just dropping weight in general. Right now I'm sitting around 1500 calories. Don't ask me why, but my body is really weird in the sense that I have to eat really little to lose weight and bulking is super easy and I don't have to eat that much. All right, so time to talk about the training. So as you guys know, past two months training, absolutely phenomenal. We come into Bonzer every single day, have Aldrin programmed for me so I know what I'm gonna hit for my top sets for the compound lifts. And the way that powerlifting programming works is you peak yourself by simultaneously getting better at heavy weights for each lift while fatiguing yourself. So that by the time before the competition, you can start tapering down the volume and get yourself super ready, super strong to hit all the heavy weights that you've practiced at the actual competition on your best day. So as you know, since couple weeks, last couple weeks of training went to shit, my fatigue and all that has been absolutely compromised. So what we're gonna do for this specific week of training is, for the first couple of days, we're gonna get back in, start practicing the lifts again, getting back to what I was used to doing in terms of the heaviness of the weight. And for the rest of the week, we're gonna lower down the volume gradually, so by the time next week gets here, we're gonna be completely rested while back to where I was. Hopefully, that is the goal of the plan. So today, what we're gonna do in the gym, I have this little piece of paper right here, is we're gonna be doing SBD for the whole week, so squat, bench, and deadlift, that's it, no accessories. We're gonna be doing a top set of two for the squats, then we're gonna back down to five sets of three, top set of a single for the bench press, then we're gonna back down to six sets of two, and for the deadlift, a top single, then we're gonna back down to four sets of one. All having the top singles or doubles at RPE eight or nine, and the rest of the working sets at an RPE six to seven. So what does that mean? You don't really have to know, but it's what we're gonna be doing in our training session today. Hopefully it's gonna go well. My first day back in training, lifting heavy weights on 1,500 calories. I'm absolutely starving. Speaking of that, we're gonna go get our food. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we just made it to the kitchen right now because I am absolutely starving. And right here in front of me, it is 2 p.m. and we got our first meal of the day. So, we have 10 ounces of this delicious chicken breast coupled with about a cup of this white rice. We got some veggies sprinkled all over just to add some of those micros. And topped on top, we got two fried eggs to add some color, some flavor, and some depth to this meal. Because as you know, 1,500 calories does something to the human psyche. And you gotta just make your food as optimally looking as possible. So, without further ado, we're gonna eat this up, sprinkle as much sodium as possible on it. Go ingest my creatine. Pray to the Lord that nothing bad happens this training session. I still hit my numbers. Go get mentally and physically ready to hit the gym. And I'll see you in there for a raw workout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after a plethora of food, we made it back to Bonzer. We got Matthew right here. Coach Aldrin Nut. We just hit this 405. Felt so much harder than it should. I feel like it's just mental. Also, getting back into training, I'm sore from literally every single possible exercise. We're gonna go slap on 425. See how it moves. If it moves well, 435. If it doesn't, I'm a little bitch. Let's go. Yep. Go, Damien.
supposed to go 430 or 435 for that top set of two. However, due to losing like 10 pounds, being sick, and just my mind not into it, you guys saw we absolutely failed that first warm up of 425. So I had to literally re rack, re rack all the weights back onto the bar, and we hit it again, and it just smoke show like literally RPE 8 felt so good. If I learned anything from this prep, it's all mental, baby. It's all mental. You got to be like mentally ready to lift some of these weights. Speaking of mental, this man right here, Coach Nut, is about to go attempt 475 pounds on the deadlift. 100% do not believe he's going to hit it. I'm not going to tell him, but he has headphones on right now. But who knows? The man gets pretty hyped. Small little guy, but uh, this is a lot of weight. We'll see. As for me, we are backing down to 365 pounds on the bar doing a very light conventional five sets of three on the squat making sure every single rep is beautiful competition ready and look it's Ed Sheeran Come on, Aldrin. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Sad day in the gym. Aldrin, how you feeling? Eh, a little bummed out, you know, but it's fine. There's always in there. I love it. Sometimes things just don't go your way. Anyways, we're gonna go hit 365 pounds for this uh, first set of three. Hopefully, it's like RPE six. We're gonna feel it out. We're gonna get all the very good techniques in. Boom. One, step one, step two, step three. Let it settle. Look in the ground. Oh, up, up. Oh, my God. <laughs> that scared me for a bit. Oh. Yep. Oh. Ooh, sometimes you can't just talk to the camera when you're working out. <laughs> yeah. So, right now I'm massaging close to my taint. Why? Because it's cramping. Why else? Because it feels good. Speaking of feeling good, guys, I'm gonna give you a little gem secret right now. Buy one of these. Theragun, Hypervolt, I don't even care what you buy. Percussion therapy. Oh, baby, it's nice. Swear to God, I would be so much more injured than I am right now if I didn't buy one of these things. Pick them up, they're like three to 500 bucks. Huge investment, however, you will not, not regret it. Okay, right now, guys, we're on our last, right now we're on our last set of this five by three. Been pretty, going pretty good, RPE7, keeping it true. However, movement patterns not as good as they used to be because taking some time off. But I'm gonna stop bitching and let me hit this. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Massage close to your taint. It helps. Time for bench press. All right, ladies. So today we got a sponsor of the video, Tanner's Cord Nuts. These are feeling me for today's bench press workout, and it is feeling so good. I don't know what it is. Maybe because squats are done. Or I just got my second win. My bench. We got 275 pounds on the bar. Last time I attempted this after I got injured, absolutely did not move, but. We're feeling good, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, let's go. Can I move this? This is gonna determine my happiness for the rest of the workout. Maybe. Oh shit. Okay, I'm the phone. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're right here. 
we got Aldrin, Tanner, and June. We are taking up Aldrin Squat Rack. Just come here and talk to you because it is two and a half hours in right now, and I'm only 60% done in my workout, but we are on the last set of bench. Bench is going absolutely beautiful. That top set was smoking, and yes, last set means we are on the sixth set, and I just want you to watch this speed. I want you to sit back, enjoy, and have your testosterone induced right here. Literally two days ago, I could barely hit that for two. We're feeling good. All right, ladies, we just warmed up to 405 on the deadlift. Felt pretty good, not as good as usual, but all things considered, feeling kind of strong. Anyways, we just jumped to 455. We're about to go smash this right now. We're gonna see how this feels, see if we're gonna go up or not. Let's go do it. All right, ladies, we are on the last set of the day, 475 pounds. Right now, I am praying to whatever Lord is up there in the world that I have the strength and energy to hit this, because as you saw, that last set, absolute trash. But I know with the power of some adrenaline, getting super hyped up, fired up, and Hannah Montana, we can hit this. Uh. Focus, focus. All right, ladies, right now we got T-Dog and Coach Nut. We are walking right now to Trattoria, about to go eat my last euphoric pasta Tuesday before we go on this crazy water cut and start tapering the volume in the training and blah, 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 but I just cannot wait to eat. I am starving. 1,500 calories sucks. But today's training session, absolutely amazing. And I'll catch you guys in the restaurant. We're out here in paradise. No, it's not Disney World or anything. We're in the most wonderful place on earth, back at Pretoria, for a post-workout meal with T-Dog and this idiot, Coach Nut. And I cannot wait for this meal. This is gonna be my last Pasta Tuesday, officially before the meet. I'm sorry if it's super loud. We're in the upper floor right now, and recording settings not so good. ISO is bumped to infinity. But the sad part is our food does not get here, but it's gonna come in three, two, one. Ooh. And all our passes are here, baby. I cannot wait to get this meal in. So picking the pasta today was probably the toughest decision of my life. As my last pasta Tuesday for a whole two weeks, you already know, I had to go with the carbonara. I was gonna go with the short rib, but this dirty bastard here took my idea. Not liking it. Tanner, what did you get? And I got the mushroom one. Fusili. Fusili. Mm. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been the fourth episode, the fourth installment of The Road to Westerns. We're gonna go eat this up, enjoy the night with the boys, except for Aldrin. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And by the time you see me next, we're gonna be getting ready for Westerns, and I'm gonna shave this disgusting pedo stash on. All right, peace. You know we the hottest things in the city. I know they got a couple niggas claim that they don't fuck with me, but fuck them. When I'm ah! niggas, they grew up with me. And the hoes love a nigga, you know they gon' fuck with me. Yeah, you know we the hottest things in the city. I know they got a couple niggas claim that they don't fuck with me, but fuck them. When I blow up, they gon' claim they grew up with me.